Hi Cancers, it's Zahara Stars with Illum Astrology doing your mid-month May 2019 tarot reading. I'm sorry I skipped you guys for the general overview for May. I've been so super busy. Um, please keep in mind these are general readings. They will not resonate with all of you. If this does not resonate with you, listen to your rising sign or your moon sign. Or maybe your messages might, for your messages might be there. Or if this um, doesn't resonate with you, then maybe I'll catch you next time. Um... I'm going to start with an animal card from my Druid Animal Oracle deck to pick up your energy for the second half of May 2019. If you'd like a personal reading, you can visit my site at www.illumastrology.com. I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best. I hope that the second half of May brings you guys some fabulous news. Good stuff. Cancer, Sun, Moon, or Rising. What animal energy will they be taking on for the mid-month May 2019? Well, you guys got the bull. So you guys are going to be kicking your way through the month. Most certainly going to be fearless in your endeavors. If you come across any difficulties, you're going to break through them. The bull is pretty uh, difficult to stop. You're going to be unstoppable. Okay, Some of you might be really feeling like it's time to just start getting things going your way. And you're going to be pretty fearless in it. I love this card. Awesome. So you guys are the bull. Wow, nobody's going to mess with you. All right, so let's take a look at what I already pre-shuffled the cards. I'm going to pull out what's on the bottom of this deck. All right, so we got the two of water. This is definitely a ideal partnership in terms of business. It's a new partnership that's coming in, or perhaps it's a partnership that you already formed. Depending upon what degree your sun or rising sign is, this is going to play heavily into this reading. Um, for some of you, this is a soulmate uh, a perfect partner, somebody that you get along swimmingly with. <laughs> Look at these two little fish in the fish bowl, just loving each other. Um, it shows highly compatibility, deep um, emotions, a strong connection. And in a business partnership, it's a perfect partnership, a good partnership that's going to be beneficial. Let's see what else we got underneath that. We got the king of earth. This is typically a sun, moon, or rising earth sign person, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn but it does not have to be in general readings. It can be a manager, it could be somebody that's successful in business or at least striving to be, somebody very mature, sometimes stoic, sometimes, you know, this is the, the, the earth signs are the people that tend to be not so much emotional, more about slow and steady wins the race, really about um, building something, tend to be typically very loyal, tend to be focused on um, building solid, structured, solid things. So um, this is just a mature person that tends to view relationships maturely. And for some of you, this is a soulmate relationship with an earth sign. Okay, just going to say that. But again, in general readings, the sign does not matter. It is the energy. The person could be going through a Saturn transit or an earthy transit that causes them to be more focused, more grounded, um, more committed, more you know determined to follow through, steady. Um, so, and they could also be difficult to get through emotionally. They tend to be more pragmatic in their approach, this person. So let's take a look and see what's happening here. At the center of the reading, we have the five of fire in reverse. So this is good. The five of fire is the five of wands typically, which indicates frustrations, aggravations, tit for tat, fighting, arguments, but they're typically not very, you know, they're not they're not the end all be all. They're, they're frustrations, aggravations, arguments um, within a situation. So some of you could be facing this at work. Some of you could be facing this with clients. And some of you have faced this with a soulmate relationship or a partnership. Um, but it's in reverse. So it looks like that's the end of that. And it's going to be clearing up. You guys aren't going to be given into that energy anymore. Um, although the bull is there. <laughs> Um, and the bulls pretty much like that energy, kind of like not going to tolerate this anymore. Whatever the situation is, if it's a work environment, like I said, clients or love relationship, there's definitely been some frustration in that area. I'm going to go ahead and flip all the cards so I can get the full picture here. Wow. All right. Somebody's coming out from the cold. If you've been left in the cold or you left somebody in the cold... All right, so I, 
I definitely see somebody that's moved away from a situation. Um, maybe due to this five of fire, this conflict, this argument, this frustration, somebody's moved away from that, okay, to seek calmer waters, trying to cool down, trying to move away and think things through, okay. Um, yeah, somebody was left in the cold in the situation, five of earth or the five of pentacles, um, feeling, some of you might have been feeling frustrated with waiting on money as well, okay, in the workplace. Um, and some of you uh, felt left in the cold and somebody moved away from you or you did this to them. But because it's in the reverse, it looks like you're coming out of the cold or they are. There's definitely communication coming in regarding a new job opportunity for some of you or starting a new or starting new something solid and committed. Something that's going to be moving a little bit slowly. Something um, that... Because I sit next to this wheel of fortune, some of you that are looking for a job, I'm just going to say right now, you're going to get a job. Fortune's turning in your favor and it's going to be a new, um, a budding of a new start to a new job. Some of you that have been waiting on money, that money is coming through, okay? Some of you waiting on money from clients, some of you waiting on money for whatever reason, it's definitely coming through and you're going to hear about it, okay? And you're going to have reason to celebrate, um, some of you are going to be spending time with friends, socializing. Fortune's definitely turning in your favor. The fortune's wheel means that things are going to pick up, improve, and get better. In terms of a relationship situation, the same goes. Um, you're going to be coming out of fighting. Things are going to turn around for the better, and you're going to hear communication with regards to a love relationship or emotions or how somebody feels about you. And it could be from this earth sign. It could be a water sign with the messenger of water, a Scorpio, Pisces, or another cancer. Um, we do have the cancer card here, the chariot, things moving forward, you getting control of a situation, um, and triumph and success. So this situation is going to turn out positively, whether it's a work situation or a love situation here. Um, you're going to get communication about how they feel. Somebody's been thinking about it. Whoever moved away has been spending some time in hermit mode thinking about things heavenly, wanting to communicate how they feel. Um, definitely wanting to come out of conflict with you and start something new and solid. Come out of feeling out in the cold. They really want to be with you. I feel like this is a very strong, okay, in a relationship reading, this is a soulmate relationship. This is somebody highly compatible, deeply passionate um, that you've been fighting with, that you've been having disagreements with. Um, and you've moved away or took some time out, but you're going to start communicating. This could be, the roles could be reversed. You could want to communicate with this person or this person's going to communicate with you, but either way, communication is coming through. There's a breakthrough. And if it's a big, regarding a money situation or a job situation, you're going to hear about the money. Money's going to come through. Um, wow. So let's see. Um, Can you tell me more about the messenger of water for cancer? Sun, moon, or rising. Again, that could be a Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio person that you moved away from or that moved away from you that took time out to think things through. They have very strong feelings for you. They love you a lot, vice versa. And they want to communicate with you, but let's just see what we can get on that. Yeah, somebody's going with their intuition on this, okay? Your intuition is telling you that they're going to communicate with you. A lot of you feel like it's not over. A lot of you know that you're going to get communication. Um, and this could be for the cross watcher as well. But I feel like for you cancers, um, you could be hearing from a water sign or an earth sign that you might have been having some struggles with. Um, but you're really aware of the fact that this is a soulmate connection, that this is a very powerful connection. You're going to be feeling extremely courageous and going after it. And, or they are going to you, but I feel like you're definitely going to rectify the situation, whether it's a business partnership or a love relationship. It's a good situation. Um, there might've been confusion surrounding it or why it's separated with the high priestess here, but I feel like this is your intuition telling you, like, you know, it's not over, that you know that it's going to, this is a very powerful connection, whether it's with a water sign and earth sign. Um, I'm seeing here. I also, because there's a fire, 
a card and an air card. It could be either of those. It could be any of them because these are general readings and that's why I always say it. In general readings, the person just takes on that energy, whether they're more of a water sign energy type of person or an earth sign person. Water signs tend to be um, suppressed in emotions, but they have a lot of them. They have deep feelings. Um, they uh, are emotional and sensitive. So let's see if we can get anything on this king of earth. And this two of water. Cancer. Yeah, this is weighing bur burdensome on your mind and on the other person's mind as well. They've been very, it's been heavily weighing on their mind that this is a very important relationship and whatever tit for tat arguments, frustrations you've had, moving away to think about things and realizing how much you really feel about this person or they you, um, your intuition's telling you that this is it, them too, and wanting to come and express how you feel and make this situation better. Fortune's wheel is definitely telling me that this situation is going to come back around. All right, well, that is awesome. Let's take a look and see what kind of general overview cards we can get for Cancers mid-month May 2019. Um, there is a lot of love here in this particular reading, and you're going to hear about it. And this situation is going to come back together. Somebody's going to, some of you might be traveling to a person. I'm just going to say that because a chariot card, but this is overall triumph and success, especially with the wheel of fortune. Same thing goes for money. Those of you that have been waiting for money, absolutely coming through. Cancers. Whoa. Got too many here. Hang on a second. Cancer, sun, moon, or rising. All right, we got be flexible here. So this situation requires you to be flexible. This is a very powerful connection for those of you in a love relationship. You know, um, be willing to communicate, be willing to work things out, be willing to, to give in if need be, because it's an important relationship, vice versa, for the other person as well. Um, you need to have flexibility in love. For those of you that may be being stubborn, sometimes um, Earth sign people can be kind of fixed. I mean, they're fixed. I mean, if it's a Taurus, it can be a fixed sign. Um, but it could be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or Scorpio, Pisces. And Scorpio can be fixed and stubborn too. Uh, Pisces or, um, sorry, Cancer. <laughs> All right, so truth be told. So somebody's going to tell you, yeah, that's what I'm seeing with the, with the messenger of water. So if there's been a confusion... The, you're going to get the truth about the situation. For those of you, if this is a work environment, a love relationship, somebody has something they want to tell you, and I think it's about how they really feel about you and vice versa. And you're definitely going to get communication with regards to the situation, but there's some clarity that needs to be had, and you need to be flexible with regards to it. Okay? And this could be for the cross watcher as well. What else do we have for cancer? We got poised. So this means that you're ready. This means that they're ready. And in soulmate relationship, it means that you're both ready to finally get this to go move forward. Um, you're poised to take action. You're in the right place. They're ready. You're ready. Wow. How fantastic. Um, all right. So that's what I have for you guys for mid, uh, mid May, 2019. There's a lot that's going to be happening. Money's coming your way. A relationship's going to rectify and fix itself. You're being asked to be flexible. Um, you're going to get some truth about the situation. Definitely emotional expressions here. Clarity on any confusion. And your intuition is telling you that all of this is going to come through for you. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm sending you guys positive energy for all the best. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do, but be sure to click the bell to get notified of all my uploads as they come. I will be putting June up soon. And I'm sorry I missed you guys for the first part of this month. It's truly just been on accident because I've been so busy, but I will be making an effort to make sure I get them out. So thank you so much again. Lots of love to you. Until next time.